Hey right, folks, Dan Urbino here with WP Central giving you a quick look at Next Gen Reader, the Mango version. Yes, this is a very popular RSS feed application out there. Uh, I think it's one of the fastest and one of the more traditional ones that follows the Metro design. Uh, you can see those two tiles there flipping around like crazy. Uh, we love this about Mango. And this is one of the major changes here for Next Gen Reader. It features basically your unread count, which forgive mine. It really is 999 as I have a lot of feeds. Uh, and you can see the one to the right there, Microsoft Logs, is just one of those. So that's what that is. It's uh, a collection of Microsoft Logs. Shows me I have 25 articles I need to read. And you can see I'm not very good with this. This syncs up with, of course, Google. Uh, news in your news reader program and let's launch actually we'll launch this one right here it goes right into the app now, i'm a big fan of this program mostly because uh it's traditional metro you'll see it's downloading microsoft blogs and this will take a few seconds of course because i have so many and I haven't checked it in a little while then there they are so you can see all the articles. I mean, what's really nice about this reader is just, it's that minimalist Metro design, right? It's just the text and that's what makes it so quick and easy to use. Anyways, you can click on any of your articles here. Nicely brings it down, reformatted for your phone. It basically gives you the whole article. It's still downloading stuff here. It's actually a pretty big post. And here you have your options, you have your like and unlike, share, unshare, and reader, email this article, post to Facebook, Twitter, you're live, send to Instapaper, read it later, <laughs> open in Internet Explorer. One thing you can't complain about this program is that it doesn't lack features. It has tons and tons of features in it, and that makes it really, really nice. This ability, of course, to pin now your subcategories to your start screen really makes it an attractive app because although you may be like me and have tons and tons of feeds, you might not need to know all of them at once, so it's nice to have that specificity. Here's some starred, things shared, which I haven't, and it goes back to the various feeds. You got your manage feeds here. We can go to settings, which got a little changed here. It's more Metro traditional. Here's your live tiles. There we go. You can see it gives you an example of what it's going to look like which is always nice. I'm a big fan when developers give you that little preview. Turn it on and off. You can have it update the tile every 30 minutes. Actually, I'm going to probably put mine at six hours. You can also select a feed, a specific one. Uh, it has a grouping to be pinned to your uh, start menu. And you can do your folders as well. You can pin a whole folder if you wanted to. It's a nice option. You have your various accounts here, uh, your Twitter, uh, Facebook, Windows Live, it's a paper, read it later. Miscellaneous, I believe this is uh, some of the design stuff. Oh, Mobilizer, correct. Oh, user interface, this is some nice things here. It gives you some choices on how the things are laid out. And a synchronization. Overall, really nice stuff. Let's go back out of this. Here's all the main feeds. So and it shows you when it's updated, of course. Really great stuff. Let's go back down. We'll go to the main article here. Now this app is in the near final stages of beta testing, meaning we should be seeing it pretty soon in the marketplace. We'll do a post, of course, when it's available. So here are all my, <laughs> my feeds of which you can see I have a ton of them. So you can't complain that this app can't handle a lot. It sure as heck can. Uh, Unfortunately, some of my feeds here are dead, so they may not be uh, fully synced up. For some reason, I have Google Blogs. Windows Mobile. So, once again, starred, shared feeds. I love the design of this app. I think it's really nice. The Mango Edition uh, has a bunch of bug fixes as well, as, of course, the uh, fa you know fast app switching, which... Here, we can just show quickly. Probably one of the best features of Mango is the ability to switch between apps. Yeah, some of these are dead feeds. This is the other problem I have. I have too many feeds, and a lot of them are <laughs> kind of dead. Here we go.
That was a WP Central app, of course, coming in. Let's see, we'll hold this down. There you go, the fast app switching, always a great thing. So between this and a lot of tiles, uh, we gotta highly recommend this if you are a big fan of RSS and uh, Google News Reader, then you'll definitely wanna take this app for a spin. Look for it in the next couple of days in the marketplace, we'll cover it too when it goes live. There you go, take care everybody.